Welcome to the Tongue of the Trees channel. I'm Elizabeth Ashley, the Secret Healer, and this is what is lavender essential oil good for? And of course, today we're talking about the emotional, mental, and spiritual aspects, as well as the safety. Excuse me, we have a train right behind us. So we've got a lot to get through today. So first of all, we're going to focus on the emotional, mental, and spiritual because actually. Although they're slightly different, they're kind of interlocked, don't they? In a way that's inextricable to links. It's easier to talk about them in one set. And then don't worry about making uh, notes as we go along. We've made slides for you, which will hop up um, to show you the different bullet points of um, the session. Then I'm going to show you a little bit about the Tongue of the Trees cards themselves. You saw them quite a lot in the last video. Um, what are they for? How do you use them? What do they look like in the layout? I'm going to show you that. And then we'll go over to the safety. Again, we'll have some slides. And then finally, we'll have the highlight. We're going to pop over to Hungary and we're going to talk to Gergle. Um, and he's going to tell us how he uses lavender and what he blends it with which is my favorite part of the videos all the time because i'm learning loads it's so nice to learn from somebody else for a change so i got my lavender and it's a beautiful beautiful high alpine lavender that i'm working with but doesn't matter which one um the key word on the slide as i remember is support it couldn't be a better description you know it's the like it's the aromatherapist's best tool you know <laughs> when i first qualified i always used lavender and then i kind of got a bit about a bit of a snob about lavender they started doing a lot of um medical trials clinical studies really in hospitals to see how essential oils could help with anxiety before operations and that that's just reminded me actually a friend of mine's got in for an operation today i should have texted them um and the idea was to make sure that the people were nice and calm before they went in because once you're calm then there are less dangers of complications on the operating table there's less problems with uh blood pressure spikes that you could um changes um, you know, I, the calmer you are before you go into surgery, the better. So they've been using aromatherapy to be able to help those people. And when they first started doing the um, trials, I used to get so irritated. Why lavender? Why can't you do anything more interesting than lavender? Well, the answer to that is because there isn't anything better. I've come back to my roots of discovering there isn't. You know, this was, let's cut to the chase, let's go to the king. She is the queen, she is. And in terms of emotional, you know, it's just like the most caring, caring mum. It's tender, it's comforting, it's like having somebody hold your hand. And life's scary. You know, I, I've done a, a, a beginner's course of aromatherapy and I can remember talking about a clinical trial in one of the lectures. Can I find it again? I cannot, right? But let me tell you about what this, uh, this trial did. So the study was into people who had social anxiety disorder. Um, sad, S-A-D, sad. And it's like being nervous on crack. <laughs> Oh, that's a terrible way of putting it, but they can't answer the phone, they can't answer the door, they can't go out, they're frightened of everything. Anything with a social interaction, they can't do it, and it's so, so debilitating. And when they've been doing brain scans, they've noticed that when, um, when these people have this, there's like no light activity in the left-hand side of their brain. It's completely switches down. And the less activity we have here, the more withdrawn we are 
from life there's less interaction so if you put it into um a comparative rodent study i have to read a lot of rodent studies they put mice into a into a maze and the more anxious they make them the less that they, they go out into the open arms of the maze the less the, the the more scared to go out and, and interact with what's going on outside and i think that's a tremendous um an easy way of seeing what happens to people on a much larger scale that you know going outside into those into those unknown things is just way too much so as i remember it they uh gave people lavender i think for six weeks it's usually six weeks it's usually a, a, a study time but they inhaled it and these people had um been very ill for a long time and there were 70 odd people in the trial and uh so what they did then was they did a series of brain scans and a series of questionnaires. So the questionnaires tend to be asking them about how they are doing in terms of going out. How are they doing in terms of going to see their friends, uh, new situations. At the beginning of the study, you know, these people were seriously, seriously ill. So you can imagine their scores were very, very low. But just inhaling the lavender helped them. Their scores improved on their anxiety, social anxiety score. Um, but also when they scanned their brain, they started to light up. So a period of using the lavender had made their complete brain activity change. Isn't that marvellous? You know, the reduction of the anxiety had you know, it was darkening the brain and you can imagine how that, you know, that's how it feels, isn't it? The world feels a darker place. Well, that's what's happening. It's shutting it up. So that is a, a marvellous, marvellous thing, I think, for, um, a, a, you know, a, a, a testimony for the power of, of lavender, really. And, the, and that is exactly what it feels like, having someone hold your hand. I think I could go out there because... I feel like there's somebody there to help me. Now, there's also another lesson in there hidden that um, the effects of essential oils are cumulative. So even if the first few days you think, oh, it makes me feel a bit more relaxed, but I don't feel like I'm getting any better, please persist. Please persist. Because over time, these changes happen in the brain, they happen organically in the body. And I keep talking about the knowledge base. We'll, we'll talk about it more when we look at the, the spread, but you'll start to understand if you start to study it through the lens of the, it might be through the Chinese medicine, or it might be through the medical astrology or even the Ayurvedic medicine. But what happens is you'll see that these surface symptoms that we are seeing were always a part of a much deeper thing going on. These were the tip of the iceberg, literally. And what's happening under the water when you use the essential oils and ideally blend them with other essential oils cleverly, you get an entire shift. An entire shift. So you not only see an emotional shift, but things happen in the physical body. The personality starts to change. The person's outlook starts to change relationships start to change their interactions in the world start to change everything shifts just with the understanding of how those trends how those that metaphor extends out through using an essential oil is beautiful really really beautiful and um if we pick something out of the um knowledge base i can tell you that um the easiest way to understand uh, lavender. I'm starting to get heady with it now. I'm going to put it down. The easiest way to understand lavender is um, through the medical astrology, I think. So, picking out it's mercurial. So, things that work under mercury are about communication, they're about ideas, they're about expression, um, they're about being able to make those connections in the brain and explain them to other people they're about data going backwards and forwards all of the time they're about the mother-child relationship so all of that would be relevant with uh lavender um i'm kind of 
trying to tap in each time to um, how to help you if you're a rep to sell more essential oil. And with lavender, I don't think you're ever going to need that help, to be honest. It's the easiest oil to um, to sell. If we think about um, the training I had from Rhiannon Lewis when we were in Budapest at the Drops Conference, she said, it's not what does it make you think, it's what does it make you feel. Well, as soon as you feel lavender, you feel more relaxed, don't you? So that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. But from a sales point of view... Um, those who don't know, I've got a very, very strong sales background. I was a commercial manager for a long time and I taught a lot of people to sell. And one of the most important things I used to say to people is ask somebody what's the most important thing that you're looking for, for it to, to work, for the product to work. And so if, somebody, if you ask that question and the person says, well, the most important thing I want is just to be able to relax. Lavender. And I would also push a bit of geranium too. <laughs> But so what is the most important thing that you're looking for? The answer to that is I want to relax. And, um, you know, if if you are selling essential oils, you know, this is a bit of a, a flagrant dig, to be honest, for the, the cards. But it is fantastic that, right, what is the most important thing that you're looking for? I'm looking for to feel supported. That's the word that's on the card. And likewise, if you ask somebody, right, well, draw a card. Draw that right, okay. You've drawn lavender, smell. Their intuition's told them what they want. You can put that into words now. So it's really, really important to understand the um, not just the safety, which we're going to talk about in a minute, um, but to be fair, lavender safety is simple, simple. But also to understand if you're selling to somebody or if you're treating somebody, what it is that they want them to achieve, because that's far more important than what you're trying to achieve. You want to take them on the journey where they want to go. So most important thing is it offers support. Um, just have a quick look to make sure I've not missed anything out. Reduces worry, distances stress. I think that's a really clever, I don't think I wrote that. I think that might be Gare Glaze's note. But it does, it makes you feel like everything else is a little bit further away and you've got this protective shield around you. It's beautiful, beautiful. One more slide. Promotes harmony, lifts feelings of sadness. So I'm going to show you the sides uh, now. And then when you come back, it's going to be me, but I'm going to be showing you a... Actually, it's my hands, you're going to see. <laughs> showing you... How we lay out the cards and without giving away any clues there's a bit more about lavender in this one because it came up in the spread um, and when you come back from that I'm going to tell you the safety I'm going to run through a quick layout for you to show you the different cards. Now, one of the things that we're not going to tell you in this video, in these videos, is the poem that goes with the cards. But for this layout, we will read them to you just so that you get a chance to sort of feel how the different poems look. So I thought I'd show you the cards, as you can see. Lovely little box. I'll show you the other side. Boring stuff, except for oh, cool stuff what I read. <laughs> Okay, so if we open it up, we can see that the cards just have one logo on, and that is because these originally were Gerglase cards. He's been selling these for a long time in Hungarian, in Hungary. Uh, mostly they've been bought by kinesiologists, interestingly enough. They've been doing the energy work with them. They haven't got any um, aromatherapy background, but they've been able to tap into the energetics of the oils to be able to move emotional blockages. So let's show you. So these come out nice and easy because we've got beautiful little ribbons. And uh, let's get rid of that. So if I said to the cards, 
what energy do I need? What oils will help me do the best job with these videos? Let's have a... Now, my friend Belinda used these the other day and she does have a habit of shuffling them the wrong way. So we'll have to hope that they're all the way right up. I'm not doing a good job of keeping them that way. So let's have a look. What do I need to do a great job? So I think... It's up to you how you do it, but I think cut it, cut it three ways, cut it back. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So first three cards off the top. Cedarworth, Virginia. I'll tell you why I'm laughing at that in a minute. Heart Rose and Lavender. That's a beautiful blend, isn't it? reason why I was laughing about the Cedarwood, Virginia is uh, when Gay Claire and I came to do the... Um, notes of all the different cards we both went oh we've done these cards for cedarwood virginia and i don't really know how to explain them differently and because i was doing lots of editing work i went oh just leave it so yesterday i did a meditation with cedarwood virginia and got the most beautiful beautiful uh work out of it so you must uh tap into that uh tomorrow have a listen to that video and uh see it was really different stuff that came out so let's have a look. So if we go to the book, we can see that there's a brown streak on cedarwood. And that tells us it's the woods. So we find the woods. Uh, 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 slowly but surely we find the woods. At the back. Okay, so I'm going to use the other cards just to cover up the other pages. Because you know what? Sooner or later you're going to have to pay me for something. <laughs> so... Cedarwood Virginian. Actually, I'll show you this, but I'll read it to you because I'm hoping that it doesn't turn back to front on you, but it may well do. So Cedarwood Virginian says, hold strong. Don't be swayed by the winds of change around you. Stand tall. Resist the temptation to listen as the naysayers surround you. Keep focused on the job you have in hand. Remain strategic. Don't veer from tactics you've planned. Listen intently to information on the breeze. Remain determined. Your courage is what makes me pleased. Hold strong. Don't be swayed by the winds of change around you. Stand tall. Resist the temptation to listen as the naysayers surround you. Keep focused on the job you have in hand. Remain strategic. Don't veer from tactics you've planned. Listen intently to information on the breeze. Remain determined, your courage is what makes me pleased. And I'd forgotten, I stopped halfway through because I'd forgotten this is the only one that went like around. It kept repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating. And that taps in beautifully to the determination, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm keeping on reminding you. I'm keeping on reminding you. I'm keeping on reminding you. So, and actually, definitely watch the uh, video on Cedarwood, Virginia, because you'll see just how spooky that is when you... Uh, see the meditation work I did now you'll also see on here at the bottom of the page there's the energetics now we're not going to talk about these energetics at all in the video you might want to go and buy our knowledge base now the knowledge base is um, completely based on this and it uh, is a set of lessons on each of the aspects so middle to base you're going to hear about that today when Gergele does his blending so that's there we all, it also vibrates on the throat chakra. So what does that mean? Well, in the knowledge base, there is a complete set of information about the different chakras. We do uh, as a lecture on each different chakra, how it affects on the emotional body, how it affects the physical body, how it affects the mental and spiritual bodies and how that's working. So when we're looking at the knowledge base, this information here describes how the uh, energies move through the system. What energy shift has taken place that we are getting these different physical uh, problems and uh, mental issues? So we can see that Cedarwood Virginian um, operates on the water element and the earth element. Um, and again, in the knowledge base, there's a complete section about we talk about the um about half an hour about the water element then again about half an hour for the earth element uh, metal 
fire um and <laughs> whatever the other one is going out of my head um and then here we can see sagittarius now so that tells us that um what planetary rulership it comes under this is medical astrology and this is actually how i see um the different energetics playing out some people see it through the um ayurvedic some people see it through chinese medicine this is always the lens i see it through and usually we'll talk about how it's ruled by the moon or the sun or saturn and the different trends that we see out and when we look at an archetype like that it's like um, Jade Shoots always says it's like a metaphor and that's a great analogy of how you can see the thread playing out right across the medicine. And so you can see that Cedarwood Virginian is Sagittarius. So in the knowledge base, we talk about the different signs and planets and also the different houses. Um, if I remember right, um, Angelica, for example, falls under the uh, Pisces Aries cusp. So that's really quite a difficult one to understand. There's a whole lesson about the Pisces Aries cusp. Um, and then again, Chinese medicine, it nourishes yin. What does that mean? What does it mean? It calms Shen. Shen is an interesting phenomenon all in its own right. It's a consciousness, um, our mental faculties our imagination, our emotions, um, God with a small G, God with a big G, all of those aspects is a complete lesson about Shen and how the essential oils can affect it and change that to move the energy. Um, and then we can see increases uh, Pitta, reduces Vata, balances Kapha. So it's interesting, actually, I do know at the moment, all of my my oils tend to come out with earth energy. Um, that was, it's quite interesting hearing me do the earth energy lecture because it's entirely about the challenges I am facing at the moment. But um, if you are somebody who sells essential oils and uh, you're looking for a way in all of the time, that right, you're talking to the person at the school gate, for example, and uh, you can see she seems a healthy girl, to be honest. She's uh, loving a kid. She seems happy. Imagine somebody who's got a really sing-song voice all, uh, all the time. Um, oh, my darling, how did you get on today? Was it lovely? I know. And then child walks off. How are you to everybody? If that sing-song voice never quite relents, then you can imagine that there's an earth energy imbalance. So um, <laughs> any oils that fall under earth energy are a good ones to sell so yeah if you are interested in learning more about that the ways in just kind of being able to see talking to somebody what might be clues of what's going on of that energetic shift then head over the knowledge base to have a look at that so what was our next card it was rose wasn't it <laughs> queen of roses as you know I do love my roses. Let's have a look. So the flowers, I think, are at the front of the book, if I remember rightly. Beautiful pink. Oh, they're both light flowers, aren't they? So rose, rose, rose. Damask rose. I was thinking we'd miss rose out, but it's not under Durford rose. It's under, sorry, it's not rough for rose. It's Durford damask rose. I remember read, uh, writing this one, actually. This is quite sad. Um, so it says, standing by your graveside or sobbing into your pillow. I know your pain. On the days when you feel lonely, worried or sad, I know your pain. Through the nights where sleep seems far away and you feel like you might break. Amidst the anger, the confusion and desolation, I feel your pain. For I was there, remember? When you smelled the roses of their love as your fingertips stroked my petals and tried to avoid the prick of thorn, I felt your hopes, your fears, your joy of deep connection. I ensnared it in my scent to help conjure that affection. In my fragrance, remember hope. Let my aroma you complete. May scent of celebration heal you, calm you and help you sleep. For through me you are never alone, always loved and open to give and receive more. 
smell me, open up and feel safe to feel love once more. Hmm. Now, I anticipate that these will be different for everybody, but that's entirely my dad talking to me. I feel quite choked up reading that, actually. When he died, he um, gave me a rose bush. My cousin uh, works for a rose bush company, David Austin Roses. I'm sure you've heard of them. He's quite a senior manager there. And dad arranged for uh, a rose called Noble Anthony to be given to me and my uh, sisters at uh, the funeral. So I go and sit and talk to the rose bush. That's a great reminder that my dad's with me today. So that actually, dad, that really helps. Thank you. Uh, so let's have a look at the energetics. We can see middle heart chakra, obviously. Water. Now, again, as I say, in the knowledge base, there is a much bigger lecture on water. But the, the energy of water is how it can flow around any obstacle and find a way to fill the space. So that's that's great. That's lovely. And Venus. Venus is obviously the, the planet of love, but there's lots more to do with beauty and it's an in, and money actually. It's an interesting uh, lecture on Venus. I like talking about Venus. Um balance is Vata, Pitta and Kapha. If you don't know, Vata's very drying, Pitta is hot and fiery and moist, and Kapha is sluggish. So it brings it all into alignment. But in the knowledge base, as I say, different uh, lectures on each of those so it nourishes the blood <laughs> well I've got funny but blood actually so that's useful to know dad thank you yin and essence so yin is the feminine aspect it's very gentle and uh, passive and receptive and it harmonizes the heart and shen we just talked about shen so we're going to put all these in a blend in a minute um, and so last but le a lot least, the cards have told me that I should go for lavender, which I guess is probably just over the page. Still in the pinks, as you can see. Oh, I remember this one too. <laughs> cover them up, cover them up. Can you see? There we go. Lavender's blue, dilly dilly, lavender's green. When you breathe me, dilly dilly, softly you dream. Anger and grief, dilly dilly, softly drift by. Worries and hurts, dilly dilly, kiss them goodbye. When you feel tense, dilly dilly, look for the bees. See how they buzz, dilly dilly, resting with ease. Learn from their hum, dilly dilly, for they all know. Learning to rest. Dilly dilly helps you to grow. Breathe in the scent, dilly dilly, lavender's light. Calm your stressed mind, honey, honey, surrender the fight. Release cares and worries, dilly dilly, I help you to see. Life is so good, dilly dilly, just let it be. Okay, I'm going to let them flow, not force them. This helps, this really helps, you know. Um, I've got to tell you, when I was um, helping Gerd Lay do this, he was sending me his notes and every time they came across it, I was like, oh my goodness, I've got to do the cards. These are really hard. I didn't like my poems at all. Really found them difficult to do. And really, I just wanted to be writing my Melissa book, which I kind of still do, but I'm feeling a bit happier. Now I've got the cards in my hands and I can see them because they really help. Honestly, they really, really help. So, um, and of course, I might be biased because it's my words talking back to me. But hearing the plants and seeing it written down, it's very, very helpful. So, um, actually, I've probably skipped the most valuable part of the process for speed. But when you get to turn out your, your cards, if you have got the oils, I would sit and breathe the oil as you read the poem. And that's very difficult to do on this camera like this, but... Because then you will really hear, you'll ha have that connection with the plant. It will open it up to you. So top to middle uh, note, as I say, Gagle is going to talk to us about the blending. Water, we've just talked about how that finds ways, effortly finds gaps to do things. Doesn't force it, just gets around any obstacle. Heart chakra again. Mercury, communication, data, information, information. Um, 
yeah that's very mercury a mercurial medicine we'll talk about that i, I hmm and there's a very interesting uh lecture about mercury i originally wrote the mercury ropes for the pain practitioner program um and so these are quite detailed lectures about half an hour long the um medical astrology ones because of course this is that's my passion um neutral to cool is the action yeah cooling like um the roses activates chi now again we'll talk about chi in the knowledge base but basically it's the life force you know how we said we talked about shen well if shen doesn't have adequate chi forcing it through then it becomes disrupted and i always think about it feeling like you're treading water so the activation of chi core uh, of chi calms shen or nourishes shen or um, raises shen depending on which essential oil it is um it aggravates vata so yes this is one of my favorite nags so the world tells you to put uh, lavender essential oil into every massage oil in, into your moisturizer into your bath so it aggravates vata people it will dry you out that is how you get dry skin aggravates vata makes you um a bit uh vapid a bit dreamy um so all of the time you like you know like the dreamers that wander around on a cloud if you're not careful too much lavender makes you that pacifies kapha so it stops you feeling sluggish stops you feeling heavy um it's not really directly indicated for um constipation but that shift of energy through kapha would release uh, not only um, constipation, but congestion in the sinuses and pacifies pitta. Well, pitta is hot, so it's calming. Uh, it reduces um, inflammation. Anything that's red, hot, angry, it'll calm it down. So there we go. So first, I've got my smelly stick. And really, this is only for, because then I can stick it down my top and you won't be able to see it. So you could we could use aroma pendants we could use massage oil sniffy sticks whatever this is just what works for me and that's the most important thing that it's the thing that works for you so cedarwood virginian is um a fast oil if i remember rightly so this is quite a thin distillation oh and then we'll like, mop up everything off the table <laughs> dip it up dip it up wipe it up oh so beautiful it's smoky it's beautiful and i can tell you the lecture is is about tapping into your ancestral line and given that my ancestral line is <laughs> full of wizards and witches that's very helpful lots of plant healers coming to my aid so a bit of lavender Warm the bottle. You'll notice I cover the thing. It's not because I'm covering the labels. Although it's because I can't be bothered going. <sighs> Don't ask me which oils I use. But it's more because it's very cold in this shed. So um, things get stiff. Especially myrrh. Goodness me. When we come to do the myrrh video. I have to warm, warm it up three weeks before. And then beautiful, beautiful rose. Look at the colour of that. Beautiful. It's my favourite bit, you know, was it waiting for it to come out, just seeing the colour. Have I got the nerve to let it drop? I have. Go on, mix, 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 blend. Mm. You know, whenever I try and do videos, I always want to have the image of oils mixing and it never quite, nobody ever quite videos that effectively. I think it would be beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that is sheer heaven. Just, just beautiful. So yeah, if you obviously want to buy the cards, there's a link underneath that tells you where to get them from. But also if you want to use the lot knowledge base, there's a link through to that too. And uh Goodness me, when you start to smell that and you feel all the knowledge base opening up all the different shifts in the body and how they move and how they're executing through the physical body. 
It's really extraordinary. It's a whole new layer to plant medicine. So there we go. That is how to do the blending. Can't wait for you to watch Gaglo do talk about proper blending in a minute. Lavender safety then. Wasn't it nice to see it come up in the uh, in the reading? And it's nice that you got to hear the poem for for it, Lavender Blue Dilly Dilly. I did have fun writing that. It reminded me of my childhood so much. And it is a mother, but you know, I said about the Mercury or medicine. It is a mother child relationship it is very much like a lullaby where else would uh, where else would it put you to sleep so beautifully but let's talk very quickly about the safety you can go to sleep it's so so simple is it safe in uh, pregnancy yes it is same warnings as i gave everybody else please don't use aromatherapy until 16 weeks of pregnancy if i'm honest though one or two drops in the uh, in the bath if you're feeling really stressed i can't see it would have a problem but we don't know so if it were me i wouldn't take the risk however if you're feeling stressed or worried why are you not getting this out inhale 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 <laughs> um and of course you know fantastic when you're in labor fantastic um also, and the, I mean, I haven't been talking about this, but do you know what hydra that is or a hydrosol or a floral water? Technically, it's this, the um, when the essential oil, the lavender essential oil is distilled, then it sits in a um, in a canister when it cools after it's gone up into hmm, plant matter. Steam comes up. The steam takes the volatiles from the essential oil. Then when it cools, what you have is water and oil on top, because of course, water and oil don't mix. See, I can't explain it unless I do it the way I've learned. This water at the bottom, of course, has tiny, tiny molecules of lavender in it, and that's a hydrosol or a hydrolat or a floral water. People actually do distillations just of lavender uh, water. Beautiful, beautiful. My point being, if you are pregnant and you are hot and bothered and vile the whole time, because I know I was, lavender hydrolat, beautiful, it's just refreshing, spritz all of the time. It's really, really low dilution, it's lovely and cold, can't recommend it enough. Contraindications of lavender, does it interact with any drugs poorly? Not that I know of. Um... It has um, DRAS status, which is basically, we recognise it as safe. Maximum dilution of lavender essential oil, a bit like we were talking about in um, eucalyptus. If you had a situation where you needed to treat a very acute um, problem, you could go higher. But any more than 3%, I think, is nauseating, to be honest. I'm already feeling nauseous because I've been sitting with it. But I am quite oversensitive to lavender after using it for so many years. But uh, 3%, so how would we do that? We would go um, teaspoon. Teaspoon is around about 100 drops of carrier oil because it's about 20 drops per mil, 5 mil. So three drops of lavender oil into your teaspoon of carrier would give you around about three percent so nice and safe so i'm going to show you the slides and then i'm going to send you over to hungary have you got your plane ticket we're going on the continent too and uh Gagler's going to tell us how he blends lavender oil Welcome again, and we are going to talk about lavender. Lavender, look at this beautiful picture with that bud, the purple, royal purple. And our keyword is support. Support. It really is an oil that takes your hand all the time, that just comforts, that just comes around. 
and it just goes around and then puts your puts a blanket on your head and then you go on dreaming and then you enjoy the smell the relaxation when it all comes to blending then I should say uh, and this is not a derogative term but lavender is uh, I call it a jack of all trades oil because it really blends well with anything, any kind of essential oil that I really know of. I mean, like, you cannot make a mistake when you blend with lavender. It really, there's just no combination that wouldn't go hand in hand. Um, so, but if I had to make a list, then I would, I would um, say that a very uh, classic combination, a very feminine combination that I find it, great in blends, for example, for, for women with PMS or, or, or any other feminine issues um, is clary sage and lavender. And if you add geranium to this blend, that makes it like, whoa, women just love it. I love it, but women just love it. Then you could use many citrus oils. You could use petty grains, all sorts of petty grains besides the bitter orange, petty grain, but you can also use uh, all sorts of woody oils, you can use it with spicy oils, you can use it with uh, resinous oils, um, very, very beautiful with vetiver, for example, like roots, if you use roots, you can use it with the angelica. Um, now, just a little story for you, because I try to give you a little story in every video, and then how versatile lavender is. On the other hand, that it is a jack of all trades, so it's easy to blend with, with many oils. But how many lavenders there are? And then we are not talking about, we are just talking about true lavender, lavandula angustifolia. I'm not talking about the hybrid lavenders, which is a, which is a lavender or lavenders in another, in a, with another name. But the true lavenders and my little story is that how versatile the oil is i have a friend who is a farmer in hungary uh, has about uh, 50 kilometers from budapest and uh, he, ha he has one hectare that he cultivates lavender mainly lavenders on and he has this beautiful rose you i'm sure you have seen you know from provence many pictures when you have the rose of lavender and then the lavender fields and the and you know like all the little hills with little houses and right now it's just a very similar environment and he has at least 11 different lavender oils including lavendins as well and then when you and then he's a really great guy because he is like a vine connoisseur he's like a wine connoisseur but really he's a lavender connoisseur because he actually bottles his own oils by year and by species so he has many variants um, so he has for example my favorite uh, variant is is uh, as a lavender type called imperial which is really sweet when I smelt it on the field the flowers they really smelt like apricots and the oil has the reminiscence of apricots the aroma in it so blending with lavender might seem easy, but when you have a variation of lavenders in, in, in front of you on the table and then you use the smell strips and try to play around with the different lavenders, then you actually recognize it's a more subtle thing to do than just blend the lavender with something else because there's many types of lavender. So. The ultimate word is really when you blend with lavender, you cannot make a mistake. So take it away and I see you, see you in the next video. Bye.
lovely i really enjoyed watching that it's so nice to see somebody else's ideas of what to blend together a couple of those blends i would never have thought of so i'm excited to have a go so we're nearly at the end just want to very quickly tell you a little bit about the people we've chosen to sell our oils for us um, fragrant earth are the first company to support us uh, they're based in Glastonbury, which is the most mystical of places uh, in England. And uh, they have been operating as an um, essential oil supplier for over 40 years. They um, supply some of the most beautiful skincare houses in the world, really. Um, when you go into their showroom and you see the places that have used their oils, you realise what good quality products they have and they very kindly uh, agreed to distribute the tongues of the trees cards from for us if you have a look in the uh, below you'll see a link to buy them what i'd also say to you is if we have made you fall in love with this essential oil they can also send that out to you and they are beautiful beautiful oils um and of course you'll save yourself some shipping too probably what I will say is just for transparency, Gagley and I will earn a commission off that sale. So if you decide to buy from that, not only do you get yourself a beautiful oil, it's a lovely way to say thank you to us for the information that we've given you. But hopefully, most important, get your Tongue of the Trees cards. You will not find a more satisfying way of using the essential oils. So thank you for being with us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's just going to tell you how in a moment. And uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next video. You get your phone, you turn it this way up, and then there's a little red subscribe button. Turn it grey by clicking it. And then there's a little bell, click that, and press all at the bottom of your phone or tablet or computer. It will say you will receive all notifications. And then there's a little hand with a thumbs up click that it'll turn it blue and it said add into your like the videos and there will be comments and if you want to you can send a comment of, and say like hi to mum and dad like and then the link to the next video will be in the description below underneath the video so bye